Well, the Divergent series Allegiant. After the earth-shattering revelations of Insurgent, Triss, played by Shailene Woodley, must escape with Four, played by Theo James, and go beyond the wall enclosing Chicago. For the first time ever, they will leave the only city and family they have ever known. Once outside, old discoveries are quickly rendered meaningless with the revelation of shocking new truths. Triss and Four must quickly decide who they can trust as a ruthless battle ignites beyond the walls of Chicago, which threatens all of humanity. Chris Jen, how excited should people be for this movie? <laughs> um, look, here, here's the thing. If you are a fan of this series, then you should go out and see the movie. Um, this will get no one in the theater excited about if you were like, ah, well, it didn't care about the first or second one, but this one, this one looks great. <laughs> It's not gonna happen. Uh, it, it's just, it's the same thing. I, like, I don't know what's happening. And now that the the floozy flobbits and the shibby shabbits, they're they're I, they're not. Oh no, they're the shibby shabbits. They're not together. I don't know what the hell's happening. But Shailene Woodley has ha, got her franchise. Everybody in it's fine. But I can tell you though, it is so predictable. The movie is so predictable. You know, okay, that person's gonna die. Oh yeah, they're dead. Uh, then that person's gonna turn and be. Oh yeah, that's happened. It's like everything that you think is gonna happen, you just see it, and then it happens right away. It's just, and some of the CGI, eh, some sci-fi stuff is cool, but for the most part, it's just, it's, it's. I've seen it a billion times. Do you give a shit about this movie? Less than a shit. Okay. Wow. All right. Not even a. Not just even. A little a, not even half a shit. Why? Why do these movies keep getting made? Um, well, I think the success of The Hunger Games has spawned a sort of subgenre of YA sci-fi films, and we've seen a lot of them, and most of them have been unsuccessful, if you think about it. Um, even ones by the same author of, of The Hunger Games, right? Oh, no, right. I'm thinking of something else. No. But, yeah. um, but I, I just, I, I think that the problem when you're trying to replicate something like The Hunger Games is that The Hunger Games offered something that was very specific and very unique and fresh in the film industry when it came out. And it was first to market, and you don't always have to be first to market with an interesting idea, but it was really well executed. And they had Jennifer Lawrence, whose career was just exploding. There were a lot of like variables that came into play at the same time that made The Hunger Games work. And I think that these kinds of films, there's just, for me, the problem with the Divergent series, personally, and I, I'm not trying to you know offend any fans, I think everybody's entitled to like what they like. For me, personally, it lacks a certain spirit and heart and depth that I find in the Hunger Games trilogy. I just don't find it here. I don't find the characters. I think there's some really interesting ideas. Right. I just don't love how they're executed. And that's not to say I don't like some of the parts of the film. I like some of the actors and I like some of the story features and things like that. But I just, it doesn't do it for me. Mark? Uh, I don't care about this yeah. at all. Um, you keep I, dodging all of these movies. I somehow have managed. No, I had to see the second one. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw Insertion. But I didn't hate it. Like, I really didn't hate it. I didn't mind being in the theater. I was watching. I was on this adventure. But I just didn't care about it. And this marketing campaign has done nothing to make me feel like, usually if a sequel comes out and it's like, did you miss the first one? Well, now's the time. It looks you like got to get in here now. I just, there, there's nothing for me to do. On to with I've seen ads for it and I feel lost as somebody who even saw the previous movie. I'm like, you don't wait, you don't even care. It's like if I wasn't on board at the beginning, you guys clearly do not care to hook yeah. me now. This movie is just going after people that they already had when the first movie came out yeah. and when the books came out. Well, it's look just, behind you at that poster. It's like they're rappelling down the side of a football stadium. That was all right though. That scene was actually okay. But I just love the look at the chat room. There's one guy he's waiting. He's like, just say it sucks. Just it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. It sucks. All right. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.